This is sand. It is loose, grainy material and is actually comprised of many tiny stones. It is one of the most common natural resources on Earth. And with sand, you can do fun things. For example, making a sand sculpture. This way of working with sand is fun. Plus, it's not dangerous. A major part of the Earth's crust, stones, rocks, and thus also sand, are comprised of so-called silicates, compounds in which silicon is found. The silicate most harmful to one's health is crystalline silica, which is often found in resources used in construction. For example, it's in concrete, cinder blocks, cellular concrete, sand lime bricks, sandstone, bricks, and tiles. The fact that it's in these isn't a problem, because materials containing silica aren't harmful in themselves, so I don't have to be scared of this stone colossus. But in duties involving sawing, grinding, drilling, chopping or milling construction materials containing silica, you can be exposed to silica dust. Because these tasks release fine dust particles which can penetrate deep into the lungs and stay there. The treacherous part is, at first, you don't notice it so much. Only years later does it really bother you, and then it's often too late. Because once the lungs are affected, the damage is irreparable. It could even lead to pneumoconiosis or lung cancer. And that makes silica dust a quiet killer. This table gives you an idea of the concentration of silica dust associated with various activities. For sawing, milling, sanding and grinding, it's 200 times too much. For drilling, 33 times. And for sweeping, 13 times too much. While working with stone-like materials as he's doing, if you can see dust, you can be 100% sure that the silica dust limits are being surpassed. Because you're the one who must work with this material, it's important to review the extent to which you are exposed to silica dust. The legal limit for exposure to silica dust is set at 0.075 milligrams per cubic meter. That value is determined in such a way that you can work with concentrations under that limit for 40 years, 40 hours a week, 8 hours a day, without incurring health problems. There is even a ban on processing or adapting sandstone, which consists of 50 to 90% silica. Sandblasting with a product containing more than 1% silica is also prohibited. To avoid exposing yourself to silica dust, measures must be taken. First, consider whether a less harmful substance can be used, like, for example, plasterboard instead of sand lime bricks, or silica-free stone instead of stone containing silica. We call this addressing the source. When working with materials that contain silica cannot be avoided, you must try as best as you can to avoid releasing silica dust or breathing it in. You can use a different working method. For example, cutting the stone instead of sawing it. In 
ensure that cleaning occurs regularly with the right products, like this vacuum cleaner, and combine this with good ventilation. Another way to limit exposure is by adding water, because this makes it harder for silica dust to spread. Ensure that when wet cutting, drilling or sawing, you wear PPE, such as this face mask, because even then exposure to silica dust can surpass the recommended limits. Low emission tools ensure that loosened dust particles are captured by the dust suction device. When these tools are used correctly, exposure to silica dust will stay below the limit. On the website dustfreeworking.tno.nl, you can get more information about this. In addition, Arbau has made a selection guide which indicates which vacuum you can use to reduce the amount of silica dust in your breathing zone for various types of hand tools. You can find their selection guide at stofffreiwerken.nl. If these measures are insufficient, you must use a form of personal protection, like respiratory protection. Fortunately, I don't need that kind of PPE for my sand art, but know that you can run the risk in your line of work. The industry and the inspectorate, SZW, take the dangers of silica dust seriously. How seriously do you take silica dust?